All right, guys, let's go on. Welcome in. So we got some breaking Jets news here. Uh, it's looking like the team went out and claimed uh, cornerback, slot nickel cornerback, Javelin Gidry off of waivers. And sorry if there's uh, like a loud humming. I got the uh, I got this uh, massive pool pump right next to me. But look, I mean, this is, again, much like a lot of these moves that the Jets have made so far throughout the offseason, it's a move that doesn't hurt the team whatsoever. In fact, I actually really liked what, Gadry, uh, what Gidry put together back in 2021 for the team. I know he racked up over, I believe, I think 46, 47, 48 tackles, somewhere in that range. That's pretty solid if you're not like a starting outside cornerback. I mean, if you're a defensive back, that gets, well, I mean, how many games did he start? Three, three back in 2021, but he appeared in, in all 17. To rack up that many tackles, I think, definitely says something and again look will this move put the Jets over the top will you know this move essentially unseat the Kansas City Chiefs the number one seed in in the AFC no probably not but at the end of the day the Jets are just shoring up uh roster holes making sure that we're go go you know we're going to be rolling out the best potential team uh as possible and really as a fan that's you know pretty much all I could ask for but I will say this Quan Alexander What's going on with that, man? What's going on with that? I want to see him back in the green and white next season. Uh, I don't think it would take much, but I don't want to harp on it too much. I feel like a broken record, uh, but we'll see what happens. He's visiting with, or he visited with the Pittsburgh Steelers yesterday. I'm not sure if he's still there, but uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.